I ain't gonna lie, just just keeping it real. I don't really date black girls. <laughs> <laughs> it's not because like no no like like most black girls are like Snickers. annoying. How to put this? Uh, ratchet, and they don't know how to like be Carry reserved. Them. Hey beauties, how y'all doing? I am Lissa and this is Life with Liss. Welcome back. For those who are subscribed, thank you so much. And for those who are newly subscribed, welcome and thank you so much. If you are seeing my face, this face here for the first time, go ahead, like, and subscribe and hit that notification bell so that you can be updated for more videos to come, okay? Cool. Y'all, I am so grateful for everyone that has newly subscribed. I know I said it at the beginning. I'm just so grateful. Thank you. We are surely growing and surely going. So let's keep it going. Y'all, I already attempted to do this before, but I didn't get my point across the way I would like to or would have liked to. So I'm going to try again. So last week, there was this resurfacing of a video from Fresh and Fit podcast. For anyone who does not know what that podcast is, it is two gentlemen who are based in Miami who bring a bunch of girls on and talk about uh, dating, relationships, high value men, alpha men, all of that. One of those like Kevin Samuel types. I will say this, and this might rub the panel the wrong way, but I will say it. A high value woman does not exist without a man. <coughs> Um, right. There's no such thing as a high value woman that's independent. Today, we're going to talk about five habits that will help you transform your life and become a better man. They've been going through a lot of controversy on their channel lately because they just keep doing a bunch of dumb stuff. Now you talk shit about my wife. This preacher's is married prior to a beluga whale somewhere. And y'all niggas talking can you ask why these clowns tried to take down Abba and Preach with fake DMCA strikes? What? <laughs> <laughs> you want to go into it? Uh, it, it's it's uh... so, so so basically uh we have a lot of people that talk about us on the internet and some of it is slander some of it is defamation and using our content in their videos and what are you gonna do well you can't file a dmca over it uh, apparently not can't. yeah and this is another thing i guess to add to the pile that they pretty much are out here dissing black women and i can't have that as a black woman what about the black dating app called black <laughs> oh I, I, it's funny i never used that one bro but oh, hey man, man. I mean, hey, bro, if you want to date a bunch of Shaniquas, go for it, man. LaQuisha. I, yeah, like, I, me and Fresh aren't really down with the brown nah, like that. Man. We ain't Night Riders. Nah, so, well, I'm good. Uh, you know, sometimes if they're, you know, Redbone, but like in general, me and Fresh uh, don't dabble in the dark, if you know what I'm saying. Yep. Uh, okay. Okay, so that's the end of that clip. Even before I, bit, I got on this new wave of just a new way of thinking about things, the way that they're speaking is very racist to me. Racist against your own people, very self-hating, very uh, demeaning, and I don't like it. Now, this is not the first time that I've heard black men speaking their preferences against black women so plainly. Either way, it's so upsetting. I cannot stand it when people point out their preference and demean or bash or take away from another group of people, especially people that look exactly like you. Like, uh, fresh. You know, we were talking about, uh, we don't, what did he say? We don't do night riders, or we're not night riders. But you, you dark as night over here. What you talking about? Because of how much controversy they've actually been going through, like, there was something out of you prior to this, where they were trying to get people's channels shut down. They were trying to get copyright strikes on other people's channels for using their content. Even though this content, this content here that I'm giving for y'all is fair, is fair use. So if somebody were to take what I'm saying and then spin it and make their own thing, that's not copyright anything. A lot of this I've been getting from Abba and Preach because I'm subscribed to their channel, but it's just very interesting all of these things that are surfacing about these two men that are supposedly alphas, that are supposedly high value men, doing all of this stuff that isn't an example of what they claim to be what they claim to be if you are an alpha man if you are a high value man whatever you don't have to label yourself that you are walking in that truth you are it you are same for females you are you don't have to you don't have to label yourself anything you are it it is embodied and ingrained in you it is a part of your makeup so all of these channels that are talking about how to be a high value man i'm a high value man how to be an alpha man i'm an alpha man don't be a beta man be very careful with those channels be very careful because anyone that's labeling themselves that 
More often than not, they're not. Because the alpha men are out there being alphas and not, and not talking about it. They're just doing it. They're about that action. So, <laughs> those high value men, they, can't, they don't have time to be talking about high value. They are out here being high value, making this money, doing what they need to do, being men of integrity. Like, they're just doing what they need to do. So be very careful of those channels. Be very careful of, of people, especially men who are speaking about their own race this way. It doesn't make any sense. Like you came out of a black woman. You, I'm sure you have black women all around you and yet you're talking about them like they're trash. That is not okay. That is never okay. I don't know why that keeps happening, but it's not okay. So this is actually what they had to say in response to that clip because it resurfaced and then they had to try and clean it up and this is how they decided to clean it up. <laughs> when it comes to dating and your personal preferences, it's no one you. bats an eye. When women say I want a man that's six feet tall, makes a certain amount of money, blah, 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 those are considered preferences. But if I say, hey man, I don't date black girls like that. Oh, God. You hate black women. How dare you? You know what I'm saying? It's exactly. ridiculous. My mom's black, your mom's black. Yeah. My sister's black, like bro. We just have a preference. If we hate a black woman, would we bring African Amer American women and black women on the show? Okay, but the all the time. The, let, the question. Let, let me finish. Let me finish. Okay, please. We would not if we if we had a, a issue an issue with them. Our dating preferences are our preferences. Just like you have the prerogative as a woman to date a man that makes a certain amount of money, a height, income, whatever it is. No one bats an eye. We are free to choose who we want to hook up with and date. Like what the hell? Like. All right, so that, that is absolutely true. You are okay and free to have your preference, do whatever. If a woman decides that she wants a man with six figures, if she was to sit there and say, I only want a man that dates six figures, but if he is broke and, and works at Walmart, then he, he's a bum. Like that is, is what they essentially did in that first video versus just stating what the preference is. You could have easily just said, you, don't, uh, you prefer not to date black women. And he left it at that. All the Shaniquas and the Laquishas, all the all of the hoopla, that was not necessary. <laughs> that was not necessary. Which is why so many people are talking about it. Because it's not necessary. <laughs> oh my goodness. I'm, it's almost like, what is the next thing that is going to happen with this channel? I've been hearing so many things. Like, what's the next thing? How are they going to ruin their, their, their <laughs> channel even more? I don't know what else to say. You really just gotta watch what you say, how you say it. It's all about that anyway. It's all about that anyway. Like, you gotta be humble enough and, and uh, gracious enough to know that you do not demean anybody. You don't talk about nobody in a, in a negative light. Especially if you're trying to be leaders. If you're trying to be leaders out here, leaders have have a have a job description. Leaders have to lead by example. They have to be different than <laughs> than what they're displaying. They have to be different than what they're displaying. Better than what they're displaying. It's just not okay. Um, but they keep acting. They keep doing this stuff and see see what happens. See what happens. This is just um no no no. The point I'm essentially is tr trying to make is. Have your preference. Live your life. Do whatever. Absolutely. You just can state your preference without making fun of or taking away from someone else. And that's with anything. That's with anything. You can do whatever without making anybody else feel less or be less or any of that. Because I can say some things about these men, but I won't. I won't. I'm going to keep it to myself. Because that's not what I'm about. Anyway, thank you so much for listening. I really appreciate it. Y'all let me know what y'all think about that. This is so crazy to me. And I honestly feel like it happens so much in our community. In the black community. It's, And I don't even know. I, I, you know what? I feel like I've never even heard it in any other culture. I don't know. I don't know. Maybe I'm crazy. I haven't heard of it. Like Asians saying, I don't date. I don't date Korean women. I don't date Japanese women because they're this and that. I don't know. I honestly have never heard it outside of us. <laughs> so
So y'all let me know what y'all think. I will see y'all in the next video. Again, thank you so much for everybody continuously supporting me and for every like, for every comment, for every view. I am very grateful and blessed that we are continuing to grow here and I'm glad to have you a part. I will see y'all in the next video. Love yourself, love others always. Bye beauties. Don't take it personal, my